Hey, 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 what's going on, guys? It's uh, Ted here again <clears throat> uh, with Tech Vitamins, here to give you your uh, dose of the vitamins for the day. And uh, today I got a, a real sweet website that's uh, a nice online tool. Don't know how I've been surviving without it. It's, uh, it's an uh, online tool called Otixo. And what it does is it kind of brings together all of your uh, online cloud services and allows for uh, just real nice, uh, you know, file management between both of them. Uh, and it uh, also also allows for uh, local, uh, well, like local management of those files, kind of like a uh, shared network drive. Uh, so uh, what you'll what you'll do to get started is uh, just pull up otixo.com or otixo, however you want to say it. I'm I'm going to stick with otixo, and uh, you'll come to the web page. You'll uh, you'll click register, and then you know you'll throw in all your uh, regular stuff to register. Once you're registered, I've already gone ahead and done so. <clears throat> Once you register, you're going to add your cloud services as you can see over here that I've already got my uh, my two Google accounts uh, my box.net account Dropbox Picasa and SugarSync um, so what we what you do to, to add a service it's uh, it's really easy after you create your account log in uh, you add your services these are the uh, services that it's uh, compatible with at the moment like I said box SugarSync Google Docs Dropbox Picasa Mobile Me, uh, Amazon's Cloud, um, and a couple Web DAV and uh, also FTP services as well. Uh, so I'm sure that'll that'll continue to grow. But uh, I've got uh, Box, SugarSync, Google Docs, Dropbox, and Picasa loaded up right now. But um, you would, uh, you know, if we're going to go ahead and add Box, you would click your, you know, click your name like my box and then you click authorize via box and then you know you just sign in and it'll add your box account for you so I've added I've already added those and uh, like I said it gives you just really really nice management of, uh, of your files once you've added all of your online account services so like uh, like for instance here you can uh, you can cut and paste between them uh, which is a real cool feature so say for instance we've got this here so we've got this little test document uh, so once you've clicked that the options up here at the top become available so we're going to copy it and then I'm going to select my Dropbox account and I'm just going to go ahead and paste that here so once I paste, once I've gone ahead and selected to paste, you'll see that activity was actually real quick. And then, since I've got Dropbox loaded up on my computer here, you can even see the little notification from Windows that it has transferred. Um, it's also gone ahead and transferred here. And then I've also got my Dropbox opened up on another tab. If we refresh the page, there you go. You now see test document has been transferred so it's also it's also really fast too that's another thing that I like um, another another nice feature once you've uh, added your cloud accounts uh, you can <clears throat> you go down here you can click uh, a Tixio on your desktop and what it what this does is it gives you directions for Windows and Mac to uh, add all of your cloud services as a as a uh, network drive uh, so you can also access in that way and I've already gone ahead and done that um, it, it comes up as a real funny name so I just renamed my cloud so it's really easy uh, to remember what I'm trying to get to uh, so here uh, as you can see it looks really similar to my uh, Otixio or Otixo sorry uh, you know web uh, layout um, has has all my accounts that I've that I've added it has those here and then here I can I can also go ahead and show you uh, how you can how you can do that here locally so what we'll do is we'll go back here and we will delete that so it's gone ahead and deleted it see I also got the notification from Dropbox that I've deleted it 
and if we go back to the Dropbox tab, refresh, it's gone. So see, really fast there. So then we'll pop back down to the networked, network-like drive. We'll open up that box.net and we'll go to this. And then I'm just going to copy that. We'll go back, we'll go to Dropbox and I'm going to paste. So there you go, nice and fast. Got the notification here from Windows. And if we pull Dropbox back up on the net and refresh, there you go, test document <clears throat> right there. So it uh, gives you all, all nice, cool ways. Hey, let's see here if we, if I refresh it here, because I'm back on Otixo. There you go, test document. So gives you gives you real, uh, real nice management of your uh, cloud accounts. And then another nice feature is uh, this uh, workspace feature down here. If um, you know you can you you make workspaces and then you can actually assign documents to the workspace and then assign users to the workspace to keep everything nice and organized uh, for for example if you were uh, if you're actually using this you know for business you've got say you know management documents that you only want your management employees to see and then you've got marketing documents that you'd only want your marketing employees to see so you'd make a a marketing workspace and a management workspace put all the corresponding documents and users there and you know keep everything nice and organized that way uh, so you know uh, overall I'd say this this is a great tool like I said I don't know how how I've been <clears throat> you know working uh, without it because as you can see I've got uh, quite a few online services uh, online cloud accounts um, I'm hoping that they'll possibly add maybe uh, the Google Music account. That'd be that'd be real nice. They've got Google Docs, so I'm sure that'll that'll be somewhere down the pipeline. Uh, and it's uh, it's also searchable. Uh, so so uh, like if you're anything like me, where you've got a, a bunch of uh, services and you can't quite remember where that one document is, you can search for it as well. Uh, and uh, you know you saw how quick it was with uh, with transferring and uh, you know moving moving those documents real real quick um, and I would definitely say if you have at least two of the compatible accounts at the moment you should definitely definitely use it and if you're anything like me where you have five one two three four five well six if you got six um, you should definitely definitely give it a shot it'll uh it'll increase productivity by bounds uh so so yeah that's uh that'll uh be it for today uh let me know if you guys like this uh leave your uh, comments and questions down below and take care see you next time